In many ways, the first Accord Euro launched in 2003 was like a can of Red Bull for the Honda brand, re-energizing the Japanese manufacturer after a period in the slums. In 2008, Honda's second generation Accord Euro won the title Car of the Year, controversially downing the locally manufactured FG Falcon. We drove the range-topping luxury navigation model, powered by a 2.4 litre petrol engine. Delivering 148 kilowatts of power and a peak torque of 234 newton metres, the Japanese engine is good for a 0 to 100 time of under 10 seconds and a top speed of 227 kilometres an hour. A combined fuel consumption of 8.9 litres per 100 kilometres equates to a CO2 rating of 211 grams per kilometre, which is about the standard for a mid-sized sedan. Drive is to the front wheels via a six-speed manual or a five-speed automatic transmission with steering wheel paddle shifters for manual changes. On the road, the Honda Accord Euro feels elegant and smooth, which is what you would expect from a Honda. The steering is light around town, but it could be a bit tighter when on the open road. The exclusive feature list for the Accord Euro includes 18-inch alloy wheels, a sunroof, an excellent reversing camera, plus satellite navigation, which comes standard in the luxury navigation models. It would also have been nice to see Bluetooth integration as part of the feature list. The rear seat is comfortable, but three adults in the back seats might find it a tight squeeze. The Accord Euro presents a strong safety story, with six airbags, active front head restraints, ABS anti-lock brakes and stability control. Without doubt, the all-new Honda Accord Euro is very impressive. The Car of the Year win confirms the Accord Euro's preeminent position at the top of the tree for mid-sized sedans. But if you're in this market, you should also have a look at the Mazda 6 and Ford Mondeo.